Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to have some Division 6 online ranked gameplay in the Bantamweight Division using none other than Magic, Marlon, the Rise. And shout out to Timmy for the comment, as you can scroll on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. He asked me to use him, and you know, just because he is a good striker, but he does have terrible health stats, I'm guessing he wants to see how I fare using him, what I do, and how I compete with the best of the best online. And the Bantamweight is one of the most stacked divisions across all the divisions in the UFC. I mean, there are a number of elite fighters that you can use, and whether you're a wrestler, whether you're a striker, or whether you like to mix them in together, you've got plenty of options. For instance, you've got the legend himself, the King of Rio, right there in front of us, who is going to be our um, opposition for today. But yeah, you've got Jose Aldo, Henry Cejudo, Corey Sanhagen, Petor Yan, Sugar Sean O'Malley, Cheeto Vera, Rob Font. The list just goes on and on the rab. And Marlon Moraes is he was a very, very special talent. I mean, what he done to Cejudo with those leg kicks, the way he slept Al Jermaine Sterling, he has the potential, but Unfortunately, you saw him come up against killers and, you know, he just took a big fall from grace and even leaving the UFC, I think his first fight outside of the promotion, he also lost. So it's very sad to see what has happened to him because he was one of, he was a fan favourite, everyone liked his style of fighting, very clean boxing and his leg kicks were obviously phenomenal and he just looked like he was built for the weight class perfectly to be honest with you and you can see here again early knockdown here and what I'm going to try to do is exactly what I'm showcasing here. I I stick to striking because that's what he does best. I go for leg kicks, I mix in the body, and you can just see I'm absolutely destroying this Jose Aldo player. Like, he has nothing to do right now. I'm just getting knocked down for fun. I try to land the switch kick, but I'm just out of range. But this is exactly what I'll do. Whenever I'm using Marlon, I'll definitely use uh, leg kicks because his leg kicks feel phenomenal. When I'm in boxing range, I've got very, very fast hands, and I like to mix it up and go to the body. I sort of adopt a similar play style into how I'd use Aldo, except... I'm slightly less patient, I'm more volume based attacks because Aldo has the power advantage so I feel like I can be a bit more relaxed, um, take a bit off the volume because the power will speak for itself whereas Marlon, I don't feel like the power translates very well so I have to diversify and use a lot more volume based striking but of course the one massive downfall to using him is his health stats and You've got to be very careful, you've got to move around the octagon very well, utilise footwork, and I suppose what ties in well with him having low health stats is the fact that he's got very good leg kick, so you can mitigate your opponent's power by taking away his base, taking away that front leg, and um, the power drop-off will be evident, and you'll be able to absorb slightly more strikes, but that tied in with good movement around the octagon, Knowing when to use your block and when to use head movement will definitely save you a lot of trouble. But once you do get cracked once, it's going to be very, very easy to crack you again and again and again. And then you'll just find that your opponent's going to have such a huge, huge advantage when it comes to um, rocking you. So just bear that in mind. Be very careful. You can see here, good, do a good job mixing it to the body. And then quickly remind him with those leg kicks. Whack, straight to the leg. And those leg kicks are so fast and so strong. And often or not... The, the person you're fighting in this case here, I'm against Corey Sandhagen, he's going to want to return the leg kicks. And that's fine because if he falls into the game plan of a leg kick battle trying to win it, the more I check those legs, the worse it's going to be for him as well. So don't don't shy away from those leg kick battles. If people want to start leg kicking you, just make sure you're checking them. Keep throwing yours. Don't deteriorate from throwing leg kicks because that will be a big part of your game plan. And mix them in where you can. He tries to mix in that flying knee there, which obviously Sandhagen has a fantastic flying knee. So good thing that it land because with um, my chin health, that could have been a very, very serious problem. But yeah, like I said, don't diversify from your attack. See, look, got that check, done a lot of damage, and I already know that his legs on the way out. And it's very, very crucial to get that out of the way early because, like I said, the power drop off from the punches will follow president and then it'll be very very easy to get knockdowns and leg health events when he tries to throw them leg kicks because he will try and mix them in eventually and what i like to do is really diversify how i'm throwing the leg kick attacks when i'm throwing them um, am i throwing it in a combination am i just using the lead leg like there just just jabbing away using it as a sort of jab just testing it out see if he's blocking low and he wasn't so obviously i'm just going to keep whittling away and it's only round one and look at his look at his leg health it is absolutely deteriorated, it is completely gone, but 
just wanted to take, take this time here to say a huge, 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 huge thank you for all the support on the channel. I think we're 10 away from 500 subscribers, which is a crazy milestone and i'm very grateful i'm happy that we're building our own little community i'm happy that you guys are enjoying the video and like i said if you do have any suggestions let me know in the comments below if you enjoy the videos don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more ufc4 content but yeah i've seen the comments about me maybe using a hand cam and it doesn't really work with the way my setup is because i play like my hands are under the desk, but it's something I will consider doing. I'm trying to get the inputs on screen so you guys can see what I'm doing. I think that more so helps with grappling, but it can definitely help with striking because you can see how I use the left analog to sway some punches and uh, utilize the movement around the octagon. So definitely something I'm considering doing. Um, but yeah, just want to say thank you for all the support, guys. It does really, really mean a lot. And like I said, if you do comment asking me to use a particular fight, I will get around to doing it, as you can see in this video. It may take me a while, I think. Timmy commented this around a month ago, and obviously I've just got to recording it today. But, yeah, if you do comment, I will pick it up, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video so far. So, I mean, we're in round two here, and look, look at his leg health. It is absolutely gone, and on the contrast, if you look at my health stats, fairly good, especially for... Marlon, who doesn't have the best health stats overall, shows I haven't been getting um, in danger too much. Beautiful flying knee there, which, like I said in the first round, is something that I've definitely got to be careful with because Sandhagen has those beautiful, beautiful flying knees. Great roundhouse to the body. And you can see I'm trying to go for the leg. I try to use that inside leg kick, which again, I either use it as a, a sort of to mimic a jab, I use it to fill out um, what my opponent's going to do. Or I can use it to set up combinations. He, and you can see he's getting a bit desperate here. Going for all these big movements. Trying to sort of equalise the fight. Because his legs are completely gone. And as it stands I'm really having my way. Also let me let me know guys if you... Oh that was... Uh, sorry that was absolutely beautiful. That completely put me off. That was fantastic. But let me know if you guys would um, watch me make TikToks. If I started making UFC TikToks would you watch them? It would just be like um, gameplay highlights and knockouts and submissions and little things like that. Let me know if you guys would like to see that in the comments below because it's something I've considered making. Get another stun there. You see I faked low. I saw that he was going to check and then he instantly went up higher but because now he's so paranoid about me going to his legs because they're not there and even to his body because his body's starting to get weakened. His head health's a little bit lower than his body but I'm working it really well. Good reversal here and this is one thing i feel comfortable with him on the ground as well and you'll see that i stay here for a little bit but ultimately i want to get to the fight to the feet and i don't want to over commit to to being on the ground and that's one of the things that i think is very important when you're utilizing a striker is knowing when to get up and seizing that opportunity to get up safely and bring the fight back to the feet because that is where i'm having some success you see land the punch there and i hope to get back up but like i said using marlon you're going to want to utilize all of his amazing strikes he's got such a wide arsenal of kicks Definitely utilize those leg kicks and utilize a lot of feints. And that, <laughs> that knockout there, that is bringing the magic with Marlon Moraes. I mean, that knockout is nothing short of perfect. You see, I, I was teasing him, faking, moving my head a little bit, and then bang. Beautiful, beautiful knockout. So like I said, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video today. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe for more UFC 4 content. Shout out to Timmy for the video idea. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.